This is Sports Center with L. Duncan and Kevin Nagandi. Ooh, 6 p.m. Sports Center at full strength. Let's oh, go, yeah. Kev. Michael Wilbon's going to be back shortly. Has a deep dive into the NBA Finals. What do you think the Celtics should do? And the end of an era in Golden State. What Bob Myers' departure means for the future of the Dubs. Plus, the very latest player to court DeAndre Hopkins is a familiar face. And who has had the best offseason to this point in the NFL? But we start with a, a historic. script for the NBA Finals. It would have Jimmy Butler as an unlikely lead. He was never supposed to get this far. Not when he came into the league as the 30th pick in the 2011 draft. A skinny defender out of Marquette. Not as the last bench player, the Chicago Bulls, who couldn't shoot consistently and struggled to find a place in the rotation in his first few NBA years. And certainly not as a superstar two-way player who has delivered the Miami Heat to their second finals in four years. Nick Friedel tells just how playoff Jimmy wrote himself in to the final script. American Gladiator, it was like such a part of like the sports television. Like I loved Gemini. Yeah. And who was yours? I wanted the joust. I, yeah. The nitro, like mm -hmm. just, it was oh, yeah. awesome. Yeah. Like, all, everything about it. Or the it. obstacle course when they would get shot with tennis balls and they would think they were right there at the end and then someone would get them. 8.30 oh, tonight, very violent. check it out on ESPN. I watched that as a